Welcome back. Welcome back. Another day, another vault. Episode, Episode 51. 51. Just getting out in front of Ethan. I'm taking everything back. That's Just good. taking the reins back, not letting him have anything. It's raining. I better not finish. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to sing it. I thought I was going to have a little moment and sing it together, but apparently we're not. No. Um, this episode is this a better episode. Day episode. Yeah, we're going to take a step back since we didn't uh, get yeah. to talk about it when it happened. Because we did episode 50, we went live. Yeah. And <clears throat> congrats to the winners, whoever won, whatever. Jacob, Ethan, and Gavin. Yes. So congrats to you All guys. All three haven't claimed the prizes yet. Wow. Sign me an A. I guess they're Actually, showing... they have. I just haven't gave Ethan or Jacob their stuff. <laughs> As always, koozies for sale. You know, we got one less koozie now because we gave it away. Right. So. You know. You know what our hats look like. It's okay. I'm just kidding. I'll show you. If you don't I'll grab know. that one. There they are. Perfect. Four dollars, fifteen, twenty. You decide what the prices are. It's negotiable, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to say I'll give you fifteen dollars for a koozie, we're not going to say no. Right. If you would say we'll give you twenty dollars for a hat, we're not going to say no. But if you say four dollars for a hat, we will say no. But those are facts. <laughs> anyway. Back to Veterans Day. Back to Veterans Day. We're just going to give you some, uh, some, some facts. Yeah. I mean, just kind of go basic overview of what Veterans Day really is, what it's about. Uh, how it became. How it became. So, you know, some traditions. Ooh, traditions. Nice. I like, I yeah. like that. I think that's, I think that's how I'm going to start it off. Okay. Because what's just a... The, you don't want to start it off just with... Just a blatant reading with, of traditions. With how it became a thing. You mean you could do that? That'd probably be a good idea. Well, let's first start what, off what that, that it's Hawaii not the happen. same as Memorial Day. No. Memorial no. Day. Nothing close. Is, I mean, kind of. I mean, yeah. It, Memorial Day is more about honoring those who have lost their lives. Right. Veterans Day is honoring all veterans, living or dead, but it's morally for the living to celebrate their uh, their service. Right. Um, it was originally called Armistice Day. Yes, I did know that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I feel like... Me guard. <laughs> no, I, I just feel like... I've got that real four times in here. <laughs> um, it, was it was to commemorate the end of World War I. Um, the Allies in Germany put into effect an armistice on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, which is hence why it's November 11th. Um, and only if it would have happened in 1911 instead of 1918. That's true. It would have um, really an armistice is basically just a truce to like yeah. stop fighting for a time for for a period. Uh, November eleventh of nineteen eighteen was largely considered the end of the war to end all wars, which that's a lie because we had World War Two. Um, yeah, so it wasn't the war to end all wars, and I'm sure at some point in history there's gonna be a World War Three. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be as many World Wars as there is Fast and Furious movies. So. Probably 12. We probably won't live to see all of them. Oh. And <laughs> at some point, imagine. John Cena will be in one. <laughs> um, in 1926, Congress officially recognized it as the end of the war, as November 11th of 1918 as the end of the war. Um, in 1938, it became a, a, an official holiday. Um, so basically... Really, the end of the war was on June 28th, 1919. That's when the Treaty yes, of Versailles was signed. Yeah. So, but they say, but everyone acts like the 11th was the day yeah. that, because no one, they stopped fighting. It's just the treaty wasn't signed to officially end. Oh my gosh, we got to, we got to get official here. You got anything more? You're running down my list of facts. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's sorry. fine. Uh, Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> you good? I mean, as far as that goes, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Armistice Day was the holiday. It was only remembrance of uh, the World War I veterans. veterans. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, after World War II, uh, the, after the Korean War, this holiday was expanded to include all veterans. This happened in uh, 1954. Raymond Weeks, who had served... In World War II, it focused efforts on campaigning for the holiday's expansion. Some consider it consider the veteran 
the father of Veterans Day. Did you know that? I did know that. I actually did, because I, I probably read the same fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably the same article. Yeah. Um, which, good for him. I mean, it's... I, I feel like Veterans Day should be about every veteran. Yes. Shouldn't just be about World War One. Shouldn't be about, like, it's it's a day to honor every single veteran. Do you know when, uh, 1971, Veterans Day was moved to October? I did. And, and then in 1975, they moved it back to November? Yeah, because in 1968, the Uniform Holiday Bill was uh, created to ensure a few federal holidays were celebrated on Monday. So they were celebrated on the fourth Monday of October in 1971. It started... Confuse the shit out of everybody. That's what it says here. <laughs> I mean, no, that's the exact words. Uh, <laughs> and no one liked it. So in 1975, Gerald Ford changed it back to November 11th. I guess that was the next president after. Probably. Is what, uh, what, what happened there. He was like, yeah, that guy was dumb. <laughs> well, here's uh, some traditions. Oh. Unless you, got, unless you want to say some more. No, I mean, you go, and then I'll, I'll talk. I got some more facts, but it's okay. Uh, I'm just going to run in a list of traditions here. Uh, hanging the American flag at half mass. There's actually more to that. but uh, Educational events at libraries or museums. At 11 a.m., many observe a period of silence. Ceremonies of the Veterans Association's National Cemeteries. Marathons, music concerts, dinners and luncheons. I hear more about dinners and luncheons than I do concerts. Yeah, I don't know too many uh, Veterans Day concerts. I don't know if I've ever heard of one happening. I'm uh, trying to get mili- a little bit of it out. <laughs> <laughs> military <laughs> demonstrations, events at war memorials. Uh, some people visit monuments in Washington. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Visit uh, monuments at Washington D.C. I don't know. You why. Know, but I messed <laughs> it up again. I don't know how I'm <laughs> at Washington D.C. Uh, do you know there are over nine million veterans over the age of sixty-five? Jeez, nine million. It's crazy. Do you know that the veterans make up ten percent of the population? Uh, that that makes sense to me. Uh, and around one point six million veterans are women. Yeah, 10% of veterans are women. Really? I have a note down. 10% of veterans are women. So 10% of the 10% are women. Uh, and actually, 17% of veterans in Maryland are women. And that's the highest of any state. Really? Yep. And well, the lowest of any state is 7% of veterans and. That's Virginia are women. Oh. Virginia. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Little fun facts for you. Yeah. Little, little funny All facts. All about facts. No more jokes. Yeah. Not not about Veterans Day at least. No. Um, did you know there's a Veterans Day uh, national committee? I believe I read that. <laughs> they uh, <laughs> plan events and stuff like that for Veterans Day and like g- yeah. uh, give shit like what all of our veterans to do and stuff like that. Uh, not just for Veterans Day, but also for Veterans Day. Like, for um, did you know that Veterans Day could have also been Mayflower Day? Could have also been. Yeah, I can't remember the guy, but in November eleventh, the sixteen twenty, that's when the Mayflower Compact was signed. So that was you know, the self, the new self government of the new, the new world. Right. New world. So, um, so they wanted someone wanted it to be called Mayflower Day instead of Veterans Day. And so I, I actually just, wrote just a paper on that in high school. Mayflower Day or Mayflower Compact. The no, Mayflower. just like, like on Veterans Day. Oh. But that also happened, so I incorporated it on uh. the paper as well. So I actually <laughs> did know that. I just forgot about it. Good for you. Hey, good for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> another thing that happens is the commemorative uh, ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery yeah. with the wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which I think that'd be cool to see. I think it would be. Um, to be in the presence of that. Yeah. Or like, even like we had the Veteran Days Assembly at schools and all that. Like, that was fun. 
like just bringing in all the like local veterans and like thanking yeah, them and like neat. honoring them because I feel like that's what you should do. And that like doing it at school would teach his kids from an early age to appreciate, respect the veterans. And I feel like that's what we need to do because enough people don't respect them, um, appreciate them. Um, and let's be real, veterans don't get taken great care of in this country. No, no, they don't. And it's a very sad thing. Um, that's like, I mean, personally, I don't know how you are. I mean, I don't know if we've ever been together and we've seen a veteran or anything like that, like when we've been together. But every time I see someone like wearing like a, a Korean War veteran, Vietnam veteran, like I'll always go up and thank them for their service. Someone's in their at, or in their uh, uniform. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like not not not, together, not together, together, but um, and I'm sure you're the same way. You go thank them for their service because I mean that's the right thing to do. I mean it is. I mean, should we have friends that are veteran? Yeah. Not, not veterans yet, but no, I mean they're but, active yeah, duty they're right now. But here in a few years, we'll probably be veterans. Um, so uh, one of them's a veteran right now. Yeah, Mister Hammond. Yeah, yeah, he is out, isn't he? Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, Canada, Australia, France, and Belgium all celebrate Veterans Day as well, but they don't call it Veterans Day; they call it Rem Remembrance Day. I almost butchered your Washington, D.C. <laughs> Remembrance. Remembrance. That one's, that one's easy for me, not Washington. Yeah, apparently. Um, I live in Washington County. Yeah, and it's know. hard for me to say. No kidding. No you kidding. don't live in Washington County. I live in Washington County. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's what people like to call it. Um, <laughs> Veterans Day is never on a Sunday. So even if it like November eleventh falls on a Sunday, really? they'll observe it on that the following Monday. That way, like a lot of veterans that are like in the workforce, like they want to give them the day to like right. that's I read that honor, also honor them so they get that. And what I had, like if it falls on the on the weekend at all, they'll move it. Yeah, either to that Friday before yeah. or the Monday after, yep. like you were saying. Um, you always see those red poppies for Veterans yes. Day. You know yeah. what those for? I haven't wrote my notes. <laughs> my notes are way now. It's because of uh, like the battlefield was so like damaged That's and all that. Was, That's yeah. they start to bloom there. Um, in twenty sixteen, Obama signed the Veterans Day Moment of Silence Act that at three eleven Atlantic Standard Time, which would be one eleven our time, eleven eleven on the West Coast, um, there would be a moment of silence for two minutes. That the president would initiate it. So I mean, if you can't take your hat off and shut up for two minutes then you're just a piece of shit I agree with that <laughs> um, we second that here <laughs> <laughs> which I mean I feel like that doesn't get enough like notice because people just go on about their day it should be something I like, feel everybody like does. that happens with the national anthem as well yeah like not enough people care about it yep. that's just a song to them oh, I just smoked my head yeah, off so that's... Jesus Christ that hurt <laughs> Um, in 2011, Frank Buckle passed away. Do you know who that was? I do not. The last remaining World War One veteran. I... He was born in Bethany, Missouri. How old was he? 110. When was he born? He was. <laughs> he was born in 1901. Wow. So he was 17 when the war ended. When the war ended. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. He's 110. He passed away in 2011. Let's do math here. Let's do math. Yeah, so he was born in 2001. Or, er, no. 1901. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the war ended in 1918. Right. So you've been 17. So... I thought you had to be 18 to go. Not unless he gets drafted. Well, I guess it didn't matter. I don't know what the rules were back then. <laughs> That's a good... 110 when he passed away. That's old. That's really old. He may have been born in 1900. I don't know how this... No, 1910. <laughs> it depends on what... Where was that? I don't know. Like, he may have been... I don't know. He may have been 18 when the war ended. Who knows? Who, who knows? I mean, I guess tech... I don't know. But yeah. Frank. That's a, like that's a long life, man. Lived through two world wars. A Korean War. And the Korean War. And, and the, the Vietnam and War. And the Cold War. Which is the Korean War, right? No. 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 I 
this as a war game there. And there's just a whole bunch of wars. That and, sounds like an awful and life. Afghanistan and Iraq. Oh, sorry. Iraq. No, you don't rock. It's Iraq. That's a long life to live with a whole bunch of wars. Though. Like just seeing people like, oh, the war's over. Oh, great. World War II. Oh, great. Another war. Oh, great. Another war. Like Desert Storm. They lived through that. Yeah, no. But. Yeah. But, I mean, he didn't, like, obviously he didn't serve in all these. Right. But, but still, still to see them all. Just to be there. Alive. Yeah. A hundred and ten. I don't think I'm making it past 55. I feel like we should take wars. Like, as a, we should get historical for like a few episodes. Just break down just wars. Break down wars. What happened? Maybe we will do a history of people got shot. That's what happened. That's facts. We'll do that next year. <laughs> next. If we're still here. I mean, that's like a month away. <laughs> that's like five episodes you away. You never know. Um, you never know. You're right. You never know. One of us could die. I mean, it's probably <laughs> going to be you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't, I'm, not make, I'm not making it past 55. I don't think you'll make it past 55. <laughs> if, you have a, if you have a chance to pull out your retirement early, if you ever get <laughs> just, a retirement, just pull it. Even if there's just, a penalty. Just because, don't do it. Just say, yeah, don't pull your retirement. Just, don't, why take it? You you know? just, I think I'm going to get a life insurance policy on you. <laughs> Is that legal? Just pull money for me when I'm dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say, dude. Thanks to all the vets. Yes, thank you. I know this is a later episode. It's not on Veterans Day or hey, Veterans Day. Thank Day. I know, but I'm saying, as yeah. a general, this episode could have came out two weeks ago, but yeah, it didn't um, because we did 50, episode 50. Um, but yes, thank a veteran every time you see him every day. It's not... You should honor him every day. But especially on Veterans Day, that's their day. Give it to them. And for those little pieces of shit that think wars are stupid and that uh, we shouldn't honor veterans, um, your little piece of shit voice and opinion wouldn't matter if it wasn't for veterans. So kiss their ass while you're at it. Um, Because you're a piece of shit. Yep. Um, I mean, that's basically the... Say it loud for the people in the back. (laughs) uh, You're a piece of shit if you don't like veterans and don't want to support them. Um, if you think war, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, sometimes you're like, okay, why are we still in this country? But like, like if you're in Afghanistan, like, okay, yeah. why are we still in Afghanistan? But yeah. like, obviously there's a reason. Like, we're doing what's right. Uh, we're trying to uh, kill the bad guys. So, yeah, fuck Al-Qaeda. Yep. Say it even louder in the back. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> no, I said, do you want me to? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I've already said that like five times. Yeah. I'm sure Al-Qaeda's got me on their watch list now. Yeah. It's okay. Every time the, the ball pops up, they're like, we're going to watch this video. Does he say, fuck Al-Qaeda again? The yes, guy with the I weird do. mustache. That's him. Come after me. Take him out. <laughs> I'm driving <laughs> out of your house today. Yeah. Just, <laughs> Probably. If they figured out where Potosi was there, it's good for them. I mean, if they know. If they figured out where like we're at. doesn't. If we're they literally out, in the middle of the United States. If they figured out where we're at right now, good for them. No, I deserve to die. They have better internet than anybody here in the United States does. The Al Qaeda do? Everybody. Everybody. I'm confused with what you're saying. No, I'm just saying everybody has better internet than the United States does. Have you seen how clear their videos are? You don't get clear videos by not having good Wi Fi. No. You do. It's just, have you seen, they got that iPhone 12 Pro Max, baby. They <laughs> can shoot on 4K. All right. We call it a 4K. <laughs> Other than that, um, we thought. I don't know what we're doing next week, so tune in to find out. Because I feel like that's like that every week. We just don't yeah. know what we're doing. We're except for this week. Yo, you know what you knew what we do. You've known about this for two weeks. Yep. We got you. Um, as always, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at the Vault underscore Pod. YouTube, the Vault Podcast. Other than what? Washington. Washington. I got it. You had to say it one more time. <laughs> um, other than that, I think we're pretty Gucci flip flops. Yeah, we Gucci flip flops.